G'day folks, welcome back to the channel for episode number 21 of our Acid Dervish playthrough, where uh, last episode we got up to Homestead, and uh, this episode we're going to run back out the front gates and um, go do Pine Barrens. So, uh, no major changes between episodes, although uh, for me it's been over a week since I played this. Um, today I was playing the uh, Season 5 mod, and uh, unfortunately I had some issues with characters being rolled back and whatnot, so I figured I'd just come and unpause this series and uh, play this old character that I know is going to be saved, and then uh, I'll go back and play some Season 5 in a couple days once they've got the bugs sorted out. Um, right, so the only change I made between episodes was that I put the... Um, that Tainted Eruption proc is now on the Guardians. Um, you can see the little black skeleton there is from our most recent devotion, the... Um, what is it even called? This one. Uh, the Revenant. Um, so we will start seeing those. They do have some resistance shred on them as well, so they'll be really useful for killing elites and other monsters with a lot of health. Uh, just checking if I had enough dynamite. had this really nasty feeling I was going to run all the way here. Um, I've gone the wrong way here. Um, run all the way here and then have to go back and get dynamite. Okay, so just clear through all this rubbish. Same as in normal, blow the avalanche up, go for a run. Fortunately, we got a little bit better uh, movement speed compared to normal, so that'll be good. And also, we kill stuff a lot faster, too. Um, so, what do we want in this particular section? Um, we have a whole bunch of Black Legion quests we need to do. Um, so, a bunch of uh, mobs to kill. There's uh, what, two Devotion Shrines, I think, and uh, a bunch of regular totems. Um, I've seen a couple of shrines and totems on the map already. Uh, you don't have to pick up those quests, we're just going to go do those quests and then we will turn them in when we get back. So with this first section you kind of have to go up and around. Um, unfortunately you can't just go straight through. You can see all those poison explosions behind us, that is the uh, Guardians there. In terms of uh, where to go next for skill points, um, I've had a few messages from people asking what to do next. Um, I'm gonna finish Celestial Presence, then probably Path of the Three, um, and then after that I will probably go back to Nightblade and work up towards Blade Spirits. Um, probably get a few points in Merciless Repertoire. Um, Maybe not really bother so much about Elemental Awakening. One point in Nightfall, and I think that's going to be about it. Um, we don't... I mean, we're already at 61, so we've got, what, about 80 points. Give or take is all that's going to be left. So there's not a huge amount of options remaining of things to take that we don't already have. Um, I do know that I want the Blade Spirits. Because... Uh, you can put another like uh, another poison proc on them, and then just walk around and watch as your your dumb fire pets um, just eat things. <laughs> it's already fun. Like if I just stand here, they mow through things pretty quickly. I mean, it's not it's not like I have two other players running around with me or anything, but they kill stuff pretty good. Uh, right, so. I see Terrily in the Pandemonium. Um, I was actually about to say uh, we are very close to... Um, what is her name? I just completely blanked on her name. The named Manticore, anyway. Pretty close to that. Just up here, up the hill here. 
Um, Mogara, I think? Something like that? Where are we? Yeah, Mogara. Okay. And the good thing about this build is you hit the main target and then things around you just kind of die. So it's always fun. Alright, so Mogara's dead. I'm going to check over here for an ancient totem because the ancient savage totems do spawn. I think it's not here this time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it spawns along this edge. Okay, so no, um, no totems for us, sadly. Um, so next stop is going to be the cave that's not on the map, just over to the uh, the east, not the west, the east. Uh, so we're looking for a cave that's not on a map. It has a few set locations. If you're not sure where they are, um, just jump on the uh, the Grimtools map. That'll show you where to go. I completely missed that this guy was a uh, an elite. That's fine. Okay. Um, we're trying to go underneath this ramp, not back up to where we came from. So first potential location is here. It's uh, it's obviously not there, so we move down. Um, I want to say the next one is just there, but I think I may be misremembering that one. Next one is here, but not there either. I always remember this, uh, where is it, this, this L shape here. As being a potential location. Um, another spot is just down here. There it is. So, just here on the bottom of this. Alright, let's get in there. So we're here for, uh, I think the monster's name is Old Briarthorn, or something to that effect. friends along the way. See if we can't get a few eyeballs spinning. Okay. Oh, grab that scrap, why not? So I do apologize if you can hear all the windows and doors and stuff banging. Uh, it's quite a windy day here. Alright, level 62. That's going to be stopping in the middle of a boss fight. Probably not the best idea. Um, not resummoning my two little dudes, also pretty bad idea. Uh, right, so we've got all that organized. Um, and we're going to take Path of the Three. So this has got a bunch of extra poison damage, percent stuff as well. Fizz and Fire converted to Acid Damage as well is quite nice. Um, we will chuck that on here. And that is our um, exclusive skill for this build. Though to be fair, Nightblade kind of doesn't have one, so there's always going to be that one. Alright, Into the Forgotten Depths. Um, lots of spiders, lots of trolls, vitality damage, poison damage, all fun stuff. And uh, we are here for... is it Ungoliax? I think is the name of the spider. So we kill the spider, we get the Devotion Shrine, and uh, I know I've forgotten the Devotion Shrine a few times before, but hopefully I'll remember it this time. So again, you're looking for the cow. Once you find the cow, you know you're about to get jumped. Seeing a lot of fumbles going on there. Alright, and I think the, uh, the little green men can handle that. Okay, so Vicious Jaw, Vicious Jaw Bone, was one we didn't have to um, craft, that is a, uh, a drop. Tinker's Ingenuity, um, Death Save Belt, not bad, but uh, I think I prefer my plus one skill. 
And we are done in here, so uh, we can leave now, assuming I can find the way out. So the blind berserker is now the dead berserker. And I've gone the wrong way, because of course I have. Like I said, this place is a little bit of a maze. Okay. And we head out the cave entrance. Um, now we're going to head over to the Tyrant's Hold. Um, we have a couple of things to kill there. Um, namely the boss of the area. There's also another Devotion Shrine out the front. Um, we've got to be getting pretty close to being done for Devotions. Let me just go say hi to these boys and have a look. Um, so we're at 48 of 55. Just finished up Raise of the Dead. Pretty sure Yugol was next, um, but I do know I want that one for the uh, large amounts of health. I probably shouldn't have just uh, done that while I was being beaten on either. It's a bad habit. Very bad for hardcore, you're going to end up getting killed. And by you, I mean me. See this one, how it's marked on the map? That will actually take you to the back door to Ungoliax's cave. Um, so you can find the spider by doing that, but you won't find, um, what's his name, Old Briarthorn. Alright, Ruined Shrine. That was a flint. That was one that we had to craft. Um, let me just check my little cheat sheet here for my devotions. What are we up to? Okay. I'm um, probably going to keep the fox instead of the raven, which is what I had in the plan. I think I was talking about that in the last episode. Which means the next one is going to be, yeah, Yugol. So I think we start start down here. Cold damage in OA, not amazing, but yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. Alright, so that's the restored shrine. All we have left to do in here is get into the castle, kill the guy at the end of it, and uh, we're done. I was also having a chat with, uh, I can't remember his name, but someone on the, um, the Season 5 uh, d Discord was saying that he prefers to level with um, maxed out Shadow Strike instead of this, and um, I haven't tried maxed out Shadow Strike as a leveling skill, but I don't know, it seems like having a cooldown on your only AoE seems, uh, it's got to be doing something else in between, right? But anyway... This way is my preferred method of the ways I've tried. Granted, that's like just this. <laughs> um, but I can't see using Shadow Strike as your main attack being particularly effective. It's, it kind of seems like it would be similar to using um, Blitz on a, uh, a soldier. It, yeah, it works, but what do you do in between? You just hold left click? Well, that's pretty much what I'm doing anyway. So, I don't know. Anyone who's tried Shadow Strike leveling, uh, let me know in the comments. Is it is it good? Is it better than this? Maybe I'll have to try it. Um, with that said, let's see if we can't get to the end of this little dungeon. And we will say hello to um, the Gerbil Tyrant. successfully gone the long way. Alright, here we go. This looks like a nice pack. And they're dead. Um, easy way to grab that dynamite. I kind of want it. Come 
come in this way and grab it like that. Okay, nearly there. It's a very long dungeon. Alright, so we'll pop into the uh, crushed wall here, get the free loot. Usually nothing in there, but, you know, one day. One day one of those things behind the walls is going to drop me some really nice gear. Not today, but, you know, one day. Okay, meditation relic, um, a few MIs, and uh, exalted stash. Okay, empowered fused carapace. Uh, that's actually looking pretty good. Um, I will probably swap that out instead of the Corvin, um, that one. Hang on to these. Yeah, got a little bit of extra vitality res. Looks good to me. Alright, uh, we are done here. So let's go turn some stuff in. And uh, you'll have to excuse me for not wanting to cough into the mic. Where are we? Um, Pine Barrens. Okay, so we go talk to the Black Legion peoples. Um, do we already have... Da, 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 the Black Legion. Yes, we have the bonus reputation for them. Um, oops, wrong one. Okay, already done that. Glad I could help. Good job. Alright. Bunch of XP there. It's like most of a level. And uh, we are done with South of Homestead. With that said, let's go vendor some stuff, and then we'll uh, progress onward with the left side. Must remember to go and do Forgotten Gods at some point too. Come see what's left of my Not mask. now, but you know, some point. Actually, what was that? I think that's a poison one, isn't it? Yeah, Manticore Venom. Huh. Well spent. Don't have one of those. Let me fix that. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Okay, I'll keep that over here. Um, you know what, you can have those. Okay. Got something you need to stash? Right, so left side of Homestead, uh, we need to find Dahlia's diary. We need to find we actually don't need to find the um the note about the dynamite site. Um it's entirely possible we could completely skip that. So uh, it is a blue chest though. It is a sorry, a one shot chest. So it would be nice to have, but eh, not the end of the world if I accidentally miss it. Alright, so we're done for that. Um, where are we? Homestead. Yep. So if you just follow the road out of Homestead and hug the top option, so here, it will take you over here to Dahlia's Homestead, and you can get her diary. And then from there, um, check the building. I don't think the body can spawn in here, but we're looking for a body that spawns in one of, I think, three different buildings. Also we have a uh, Devotion Shrine over here. 
So there's a couple devotion shrines out this way. Cowl of Mogdrugan. One day I'm going to get around to making a pick conjurer that doesn't suck, but I've got to figure out how to do it first. Don't need that one. Alright, so this is one of the places where the body can be. Um, don't think it's here this time. Alright, points into Path of the Three. I don't think it's here, but I am going to check. Oh, okay. Um, another place is, I think, up here to the north? Nope, I'm remembering wrong. This must have been the northmost uh, potential spawn location. Yeah, so it could be in this house just down here. Not today. And then the third place it can be is to the south in another house, which you will be ambushed when you go into it. This one here. So all the undead should start rising outside. Walter's note. Um, here we go. Rotting corpse. And the last will of Martha's Everbrook. Okay. So, that's got a map. Tells you where to go. He hid some stuff. Um, some loot. Alright, let's go get this uh, rift, then we'll double back and kill us a demon for a blood of Cthon. Maybe faster to go the other way, but that's fine. Already started going this way, I'm committed now. Uh, might have been faster, but this is definitely going to be even more loot. Okay. Alright, apparently I'm leaving that one on the floor. Dynamite, I have seven. Uh, I think you just need the one for this. But you definitely need some. There we go. Reasons why I love Shadow Strike. Alright, so the detonation site, one dynamite. Let's go in. Callista here. Um, da -da 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 -da. All right, there we go, and we got ourselves a blood of Cthon, and we go straight back to the rift. Um, there is always an ancient Aetherwarp totem out here. It can be over here, so I'm going to head back that way. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I want to hunt this down, uh, but I do know that I do want to hunt this down. It's, I think it's usually up here. It's going to be somewhere. Which I think... Uh, maybe it's over here. Uh, I'd be able to see it by now if it was. That's fine, we'll continue on it. It's probably over on the left. good for my uh, my totem. It may be spawned in the, in the very um, very far north. It's this guy. Okay. There's something over here. I think the entry is along the south edge here. 
I'm pretty sure it's birds. Alright, here's my totem. So this is what I was looking for. Um, this is going to be Ethereals and potentially Ethereal Vanguard, which um, could get a little bit spicy, so just be careful. Yep, Ethereal Vanguards. So we just hit Hated with the Ethereal Vanguards. That's all of them. That one may have been an illusion. Elixir of the Hunt is good. Um, this one... Uh, da, 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 I think that might be a... Um, uh, Shadow Strike clone. You could put on similar to the, um, what do they call it? The Rift Air. So, Essence of the Grim Dawn. Oof, Kilrian Shattered Soul to make one. Alright, um, so this is an amulet with Aether and Chaos damage. Not bad. Alright, um, let's get on with this. So, we're looking for the detonation site which is on the left side over here. We're also looking for the entry to the bug den and we are looking for... we're not really looking for the ethereal amalgamation because I know exactly where it is but it's out here as well. Okay so here's our detonation site. Blow that up. This is our one-shot chest. We got a purple out of it. Venomancers is very nice. I have to have a look at that. Venomancers raiment. Um, we are definitely wearing that. Hmm. Are we? <coughs> I may not be able to wear that now that I'm looking at it need to get more spirit. Yeah. Uh, I hate it when I have to get more spirit. <laughs> That's fine. I'll have to get more spirit at some point anyway for endgame jewelry, so might be worth getting it now. Although having said that, that is light armor, um, and when you compare it to the armor on the uh, fused carapace, it's a bit less. Probably not the end of the world if I don't get to use it. Um, where is the Dome of Terran Hive? There it is. Alright, let's go in. fun watching the rumor spread among all of this. Um, I'm going to go back and check this little cave here. As soon as you go in, you hang on a left here, or I guess uh, south. And this little cave section here can have a one-shot chest in it. It doesn't have it this time, so it's probably going to be in the boss room. Um, but I've got an Oxus the Tainted is here. Kind of took a little bit of beating. So I always come down here and check for that blue, um, the one shot chest, and uh, then I leave. So we are looking for the two, um, what do they call them? Viziers. Looking for two Viziers so as we can get into the Queen's room. We're also going down here for uh, Golem. I'm going to beat him up and take his ring, and uh, the Devotion Shrine he's standing next to is also going to be good. It's nice being able to skip all that rubbish.
Okay, that's a lot of spiders. It's a lot of spiders. Uh, let's clear a little area to run away if we need to. Um, this devotion shrine is a little bit spicy. Alright, here we go. Um, sorry, I'm not sure what I was talking about. It's not really that spicy. I say standing in poison that's more dangerous than the uh, shrine. What do we get? Plague Mancer's Amulet. Um, actually not terrible. Not gonna wear it, but it's not ter terrible. And uh, the Citadel Relic. When you block, it does stuff. Cool. Um, let's actually go take the first point in Yugol. Um, let me just double check. Are we taking everything in this one? Yeah, we are. Okay. OA or I think we take that one. Um, I've also got some points I need to take out. Where is he? Here he is. Okay, didn't drop his ring this time. Not really a problem as I wasn't, wasn't going to use it anyway, but, um, you know, come to rob someone for a ring, you kind of want the ring. Um, I did see that perdition chest. Um, that is actually a lot more armor, some flat acid damage. Um, I may end up using this actually. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why I'm doing this. But now that I've started, I am going to finish it. <laughs> uh, where did my perdition chest go? There he is. So, 65. More spirit required. And 65. Okay. I'll hang on to all of them. Um, it's worth having options, I think. Probably I'm not going to use that Venomancer's one. Yes, it's purple. Yes, it's poison-focused. But, um... Less armor than what I'm wearing currently. Amaraster's Blade Burst, I don't care about. That's a one-pointer. Plus three to Resilience. Yeah, that'd be nice. But I kind of don't want it to trigger ever anyway. Anyway, let's go stab ourselves a queen. Uh, regicide o'clock. Here's our exalted stash. I actually didn't know it could spawn here, so I probably missed a few of those through my time. Um, once again, I've uh, gone back up only one layer, thinking it was all the way back up. I do this every time. Hug the right, go looking for viziers, and they're not there because we're in the wrong area. Alright. Viziers. Where's the viziers? Here's Enixil. Where is the other one? Ah, Prismatic Diamond. This is a really good um, component for your helmet. A lot of times on your helmet you don't really need the resistances, but um, this is basically a death save, so you drop below half, you get a huge amount of damage absorption, and uh, you go faster for a bit. 
Uh, really good, also quite expensive to make. Um, I think I started crafting one of those on my Ritualist playthrough, and uh, that was like seven or eight episodes ago, I still haven't finished it. Okay, just let the little green men take care of those while we pop the chest. And then, just up here on the left, this little section here can also have the exalted chest that we found already. Uh, there's only one chest in this entire place. Alright, here we go. Probably should have saved the um, ascension for this next bit. start throwing the roof at us here in a second. I'm gonna try to start throwing the roof at us here in a second. Um, Ravna's Claw, Poisoned of Corrosion. Actually not bad. Um, still not as good as a Ganavakar's Sting from 15 levels ago. Um, acid damage to Aegis his conversion to acid on Aegis and retaliation. That's not bad. Acid retaliation build. Alright, so we are done here. We'll go get the ethereal amalgamation. Um, that'll probably be it for this episode. It's pushing 40 minutes already. So Ethereal Amalgamation over this away. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, I think I'll take a break and kill all this. There we go, good XP. Um, I didn't get my totem, actually, now that I'm remembering, so let's run up the top here and see if it spawned along the top edge. In this case, we can beat up a few more ethereals. Um, I think it's here-ish. Uh, maybe not. I kind of want it. But I also kind of think it's not happening. Nah. Alright, well, that was a nice little uh, detour. I don't think the totem can spawn... Um, closer to the amalgamation. I'm pretty sure that last little section there doesn't have a totem. Um, let's actually check. I don't think it spawns in there, but I uh, would be happy to be wrong. Um, let me see here. Oh no, we already had the totem, didn't we? It was back before we went in. Okay, I don't feel stupid at all. Just taking the uh, scenic route. Okay, so amalgamation, 75% aether res. Would prefer more, but don't have more, so. Should be fine. Okay, so we just literally just blow him up. Alright, we're done. So, back to Homestead. Let's see, we got a few quests to turn in. Dahlia's Diary. Um, and let's go talk to uh, Douglas over here. So, we have already done that. Um, I will let my people know. Levels at 65. I think probably I don't bother with that. Um, I think at 65 I'm going to take the two piece uh, perdition. Seems like the better option to me. Yeah, 
yeah, I think Perdition chest piece has got flat acid. Um, bunch of armor, bunch of resists. Seems better than uh, this one. No flat acid. Does have con some conversion, but really don't care about the rest of that. Um, this plus two to path of the three. Um, where is path of the three? Okay, so that's yeah. We definitely want that. There was much ice. Okay, I will rescue the prisoners. Do we have to talk to old mate? Yes. Speak to the emissaries. Uh, who did we go with the last time? Kaimon's is despised and Death Vigil's respected, so we'll stick with them. Um, and we are going to back up and go talk to Dahlia. And we'll pick up some more quests. Um, clear out the lumber mill. Uh, did we save any Black Legion insignias? We did. Only need five, so don't have to worry about those. What do you need? Uh, so found some insignias, there you go. Bunch of XP and reputation. Um, don't need that anymore. Okay. I'll keep your stash safe. Um, what do we got? Farmers, and we'll go back to Barnabas. Why not? There we go. Some more components and uh, XP. Alright, I'm going to call this episode there. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one and goodbye for now.